Hello, this is Victor bringing here a new uh, tutorial and this time I'm going to explain how I paint the these guys, the first layers that are the chosen uh, access for um, Shade Spire. So this is a warband for Shade Spire and it's also some is they are also being, or can be also used in uh, what's called this uh, Edge of Sigma. So we are start from the base. So I will start first doing the base, and from there we are going to go up. So I will start applying uh, Skeven Bright Dink on the stones. Uh, I will go for quite a dark stone color uh, to contrast, uh, especially in these ones that I will do the the magma type of bases. But here also will contrast with the wood uh, with the bone. Sorry. So I imagine this as being the the school of a giant or something like that. So, we are going to apply this all over the place, okay, on the base. Uh, I will not be too careful, but I will try not to cover, the, not to go on, on, the, on the bone parts, okay. So I will do that, and I will apply this base color and I'm back for the next step. So once the gray is applied as a base color, I will apply now one flesh on the, this big school. I go for a color that's a little bit more creamy than the just the screaming school. So I will apply this again, uh, just applying base colors now, and I'm back once this is done. So this is how it looks like now, and the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to do a wash of Agvax Air Shade uh, on this. Okay, we are going to do, I can choose quite a, a big brush for that. This is pretty bad brush that I have, but to do this type of job, base jobs, I can, sometimes you can use the worst brushes you have. So I'm going to apply this on the base. The bone will have very strong contrast. Uh, we are going to go later on and clean up, so it's not a problem. Okay, but the important thing is not to leave any spot free of the wash. Especially here, we should that we cover everything. Okay, and now I wait the this rise before doing the next step. Okay. Let's put here some more. Yeah. Okay, I wait the this device and I will come back. So the next step uh, I did is once Agrox Air Shade have dry completely, I have applied noon oil just on the gray part. And now we are going to wait that this dry before doing the next layer. Once the noon oil dry, um, wash has dry, the next step I'm going to use do is I'm going to do a, a dry brush of downstone. So we are going to use quite an old brush for that. Okay. Take some downstone and we do a dry brush just on the grish areas or uh, parts of the model of the base so we are going to carefully not to go too much into onto the um, um how to call this the school we are do a dry brush on the rocky part okay so we do this dry brush and uh, I do that and I come back once it's done. So once downstone is applied, we are going to apply now administrating gray as well as a dry brush on the miniature. So we take a little bit, dry the brush, and then we apply a dry brush. We want to have some contrast on, on this. And this will be the last dry brush we are going to do this on, on the grayish part. So we apply that, this is quite fast, I don't want to go too much with that, 
just to add a little bit of uh, more contrast, especially on the most on the on the rocks that are more visible. Okay, we apply here, here. So, and you can be also. I like to be a little bit uh, not completely completely uniform. Okay, so something like that. And once this is done, what I'm going to use do next is I'm going to take fairy orange, or how to say fire dragon bright now. Okay. And we are going to apply this around the runes. Let me get this brush out. We'll take a different brush. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply this just around the runes. the same effect I, I put this this is the only base that does not have magma or lava yeah here we have a hole I want to cover the really this hole with, with the orange okay and then I will need to wait this way before doing the next step so I wait this device but before doing the next step on the runes so we can work in the meantime on the bones it's not a tragedy what happened here that the bone is of the Rigwish. I think will give will integrate more the bone into the uh, into the surrounding base. Okay. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to start highlighting a little bit the bone and we first use flayed one flayed that was the base color to add some highlight. Okay. I will not use the vibration in that case, the surfaces are quite big and rounded, so I have the kind of feeling the vibration will not work well on these bones. So I prefer to do like a type of HK lighting. Here I follow this crack. This is the joint of the part of the school. So this is here with this one hands. Then when I have like this type of damage on the school, I will try to give some highlight, especially on the bottom.
we are going to do a second highlight using a screaming spool. Go back to right one place, do this back here. screen is cool in some parts. This will be my way to do the boom on the base. No, the orange have to dry, but I still want to add a little bit more of orange in some parts. As I say, there is this small hole there, I want really to cover this hole with the orange. So I play orange again. While the orange on the base is drying, we can start working on the skin. And for the skin, I'm going to go for dark, dark skin. In that case, I like to paint my dark and uh, my five layers with dark skin, and I will use uh, Rhinos Hide as a base color for the skin. So we are going to apply this on all the skin parts. Okay, and try to go a little bit thin so that the, we don't clock any of the details, especially the rules that are all over the place. We want to give them visible. So we are going to paint them with fiery colors. So I will do the skin with Rhinos height and I come back to you. So, the no going back, so I have done all the dark skin and no going back to the base, I will finalize the base and to do that, I'm going to use no, uh, not this one, yeah, to, yeah this one, tallest layer orange, okay, and we are going to put this around the orange we have applied before okay we're going to do something like that and something like that And now I'm going to take gold, we are going to use the retributor armor. And I'm going to apply this on the roof.
Okay, let's go back now to the miniature. I'm, I'm going to play now corn red. On the cloth. And he has not too much cloth to be fair. So we are going to play this there. He is quite naked. Barbara is covering more than the clothes. The beard is covering more than the clothes. So. It's quite barbarian, I want that's what they wanted to say. Okay. And we are going to do the front part as well. This is the difficult part because it's assembled. So I will do this off camera and I come back. So next I'm going to add very little of dark green and I will do it here on this type of bell that he has. Just a, a contrasting color. And I will use Cavalite, Cavalite green. Okay, and maybe not all of them will have it, maybe only on, on the leader. So, but just to have a little bit of... I would like not to go too bright, so just here. And we are going to wash it later on, so it's going to be darker than that. Okay. And I'm going to apply that means we don't have too many opportunities to apply different colors. So I'm thinking if I will apply the green as well here on the front. I will leave it like that this moment, yes, and maybe I will change my no need to check. It's a little bit of experimenting. This is always happening when you're painting a middle. Now I'm going to go for the gold and I want to see where I'm going to apply all the gold. Uh, gold is going to be one of the main colors in that miniature. So I take it and then we are going to use retributor armor. It's the yeah, it's the goal I'm using almost all the time since they launched it. Uh, and I'm going to apply here on all the different things that we have. Okay. This way I was hesitating if to do this on green. Here I will apply that well. We can do the bells in green, I'm thinking. Let's 
as you can see, I like a little bit too. So we're going to do that. I'm going to do all these things. So the head of the dragon here is the balancing weight of the axe. to call it the key axe. Okay, we are going to do all, we're, I'm going to apply all the gold on the miniature, just try to go thin, ready with the armor, it's very nice base, so it's covering very well, even with thin layers will give you very nice coverage. So I will apply these on all the parts that I want to be gold, and I'm back to you. So I have applied the gold to many of the places. Yeah, you should not do what I did here, but I wanted to see where I will apply gold. So I did these rivets, although you have to do it after doing the seal, whether they will do on the helmet. But I just wanted to do how to apply the gold. Uh, then, ah, here I'm missing this room, so this room will go on gold as well. Okay. Okay, and I make a small mistake. We correct that. Uh, I also, you can see, I also apply green on more areas, on more parts of the miniature. Uh, I decide to go for green, and then on the other guys, I will put also green. On the on the on this on the bracelets and also on all the details. I was thinking if to do the helmet also with green on top. Uh, I'm I will not do that at the end. And uh, yeah, I was trying to think if I put jade ring some other places, but I think at the end I will leave it like that, not too much on this guy, and I will put green on some details on all the different guys if it's the the bracelets or it's in other places if they have the right the appropriate place for the wing. So we are done here with the, with the gold and now I will use, uh, I will start painting the beer or well we can go for the metallic first. I will do the metallic so I, we can see everything how it's looking like and in that case I will use um, heavy metal from a scale 75 okay I will put some in my palette here Check it very well. Okay. And here it is. So we are going to apply. And here I'm still hesitating. Maybe I will do this part. So hesitating if I want to do this part green. No, I think I will apply metal everywhere. So let's just start. Yeah, it's so uh, there are some type choices or some choices I'm doing at the same time I'm painting that. So we are going to apply this of, of course on the helmet. Okay, and now will not do very contrasting when we do that, but we are going to work to make it uh, more contrasting and nice matching. So apply this, and of course now we are going to go on top of the goal by mistake. But yeah, we, the roots have to be done after doing this, what I'm doing here. But as I said, I wanted to look how, to see how everything was looking like. Okay, I have to mix this color better. So I will apply this color and this, I did not mix it correctly so I need to mix it better. So give me a minute, I will mix it better and I will go back again. So I shake it more and I put it in new, you see, it's quite a light and yeah on top of on white primer will not be that visible. But I will apply this on all the parts that I want to be metallic. 
Okay, we have to be careful because it flows quite easily. So I apply that on all the parts where I want to have the metal color. And yeah, and I will be back. So this will be almost the full weapon. Yeah, I, the runes, I, I will do a glowing runes there, orange glowing runes to show the magic power of the weapon I will go all over this and then I will decide if I do other colors so I, apply, I do that and apply the metal on all the parts where I want to go metallic and I come back once it's applied and dry. Okay, this how looks like after doing all the metallics. Okay. And now the last base color I'm going to apply is uh, Luganat orange on the hair. I go for a very light orange first. And we will need to do two layers of this orange to have quite a nice uh, layer. But I want to go for this quite light because I will work with the washes to make it darker. Okay, so we are going to play that, and after doing that, I should not have white visible. Okay. So I will do this on the here on the hair and on the beard and I will I will be back when I have applied Luganot orange. Okay, so I will do that and I come back to you. So all the base colors have been applied, okay. And now we are going to start with the washes and I will start applying Noon Oil okay? and we have to be careful with that because I will apply this especially on the skin and on the metallics except walls on the, on the uh, iron or steel colors okay? this will start giving a very nice shade but when we go on the on the metallic colors we have to apply this Carefully. So let's just stay with this. Let's start with the skin. So we are going to apply this directly on the skin, and we'll give this dark shade that I'm looking for on the skin tones. Okay. So we are going to do that. Then here I'm next to the metallic. So we are going to apply this on the metal. And this will give very nice shading. I'm not applying the glossy. Okay, don't apply the gloss. I, I'm not very fan of the gloss wash for metallics. I don't think metallics it looks more white than metallic from my point of view. So I'm not fan of that. I use it, I try it and I don't like it. Okay, I'm going to apply it as well on the green to make to give um, give more depth to the green. We are going to apply as well on the red. Okay. Then on the green, here we have the small rivets that I want them to pop up. Uh, when we go on the helmet, I will go with the smaller brush because I really want to go in detail and I want to be careful not to touch the crest or the crest, the hair, and the beard. Okay, so I will apply that 
you see that this gives quite a nice deep depth on the Here now we, the runes are really popping up and this will help a lot to paint them. So, see, it's the white is giving, it's really one of the things that gives you a very nice depth and it's popping up all the details so you can um, pick up them much easily later on. So this is why I will. I love washers and I think it are one of the best things from Genji Workshop. Okay, I'm not going to the helmet, I will do it later with a smaller brush. Okay, I want to have better brush to do the helmet. So I will keep the, working on the skin. And then here the keys, we are going to wash them. So we are going to have a nice day. Be careful not to do what I did there to, to touch the base. Also be careful the wash is not accumulating or it's not pulling in a part of the miniature. Side. and don't forget to have the back of the tabard okay put it here so and then of course once you apply a wash you have to wait that this is drying nicely so we cannot I will wait that the wash dries before doing any other work on the miniature here we I can go with the second layer. part change to better brush so here I really don't want that is blowing down trying to void
OK. So now we wait that this device. We we'll check that all the parts are wedged correctly. OK, and now we wait that this device. Normally I do this to do, to do my washes uh, at the end of my painting session. Or if it's not possible, then I change to another miniature while this is drying. Okay. But this is the case, I will just clean up the mistake that I did with the wash. Okay, let's dry completely. So we take like one place. So everybody does mistakes. So one of the things we always need to learn is how to clean up when we do a mistake. So we wait at this rise and I come back for the next step. So next step that I'm going to do, I'm going to apply foil and orange. Okay, this is a, a shade on the orange parts, on the beard, on, on the on the hair, okay, on the on this part. So I'm going to apply this and try to avoid that it's pulling anywhere. So try to point that is pulling. Uh, I will do that on both parts, and then we need to wait that this device. Uh, yeah, okay, we can use a bigger brush, but I just take this one because the, for the beer I need a little bit more of precision. I want to avoid to go into the gold. The gold is quite light, and I want to avoid to dirt in the gold. Although it's important that we don't miss the border between the gold and the hair and we have a nice darker line around the gold part it's going to be enhanced once we do the gold we are going to also when we do the wash on the gold with the uh what's called the recycle and flesh shade will also help to do that then we apply on the beer the bird beer sorry for my so that you understand what i mean so here we have Again. Okay, and as usual, we need to wait. I, 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 once I apply a wash, even if I don't, go, I'm not going to paint next to the area that I just wash. We need to wait because I, I think it's better to not touch the miniature while the wash is dry. Okay, so uh, and normally what I do as a trick part is I have the other guys in other moments of the paint job, so in that way I don't need to to wait. I can keep painting the other parts, uh, the other parts of the other guys. So here we have wash done, and now we wait until this dry before I'm back. Okay, this is how it looks like once the wash has dry. And the next step I'm going to do is we are going to apply now a wash of um, Carlsberg Crimson, okay, on the on the crest as well. To give even more depth to the quest, or to the quest, to the sorry, to the beard and the hair. Uh, let's put this. And we are going to apply that. And this will give more depth to the hair. And even make the color, the color more, of course, more reddish. Okay. We're going to apply it here.
the things at the bottom will be what we're going to be later on. Okay. And as we did before, I will wait it dries before doing the next step. Okay, next step we are going to apply black line flesh shade on the golden parts. things these things here will go in green later on And as usual, we wait at this device. one here, the last one I'm missing. We wait at this device and I'm back. So this hole looks like once all the wash have been applied, okay, and the next step I'm going to do is just, I will apply first silvery green to do this type of detail that he has, sorry not silvery, yeah silvery, cabalite green, silvery is the next, is the lighter than this one. So cover like green the same we use for for the other green parts. Okay, I'm going to do this type of flames that we have here. Or this type of decoration that they have on the beer. And we are going to use no fire layer to start 
the first layer, sorry. Fire Dragon Bright. Okay, we are going to use Fire Dragon Bright to start doing the different runes. This is not really a trick to apply, it's just to be patient and go. of making them in gold I prefer to make them in this type of orange and then we are going to make it a little bit glowy we have another one Okay, I will do the rest of the runes and I show you once it's done so you can see how it looks like. So this is how it looks like now after applying the runes. And here I will finalize the part one on the painting tutorial. And on the second part we are going to start doing all the highlights and the fine detail. So here just uh, to have an idea, it's not finished neither. But here you have next to him one that is more advanced in the painting. So you see also the the hair and the runes are more uh, different and then also the all the uh, highlights on the skin. The red is not done yet and some other details. So here we have uh, the first part of the painting tutorial of the Chosen uh, Axis, uh, one of the factions for Shadespire, the Fire Slayers. And, yeah, and that's all for this first part. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe if you're not subscribed and you want to see more. And as usual, thanks a lot for watching and see you again later. Bye!